here on the East Coast, and notably, of course, in the wake of the DC shutdown. We picked out two CEOs here. Ken Cruz is the president and CEO of Sunstone Hotels, which actually owns uh, some big hotels right across the country, 22 of them in all. Uh, and also joining us here is Henry Walker, the president of Farmers and Merchants Bank, which is a community bank founded by your great-grandfather. That's right, 106 years ago. What is the atmosphere like on the West Coast at the moment? Currently, it's stable. And, Just stable? Uh, yeah. It's, it's improved considerably over the over 2008. Uh, banking as a whole is stable and improving. Are you you're lending more? People are yes. asking for the loans? Yes. Uh, lending is improving. Uh, the banks as a whole, community, the community bank uh, sector is, uh, is stable now. We are lending, albeit rates are very low and uh, margins are squished. So you're not making as much money as you'd like we to? We do not make to. as much money as we'd like to. <laughs> Ken, how, how, how did things so match up? Into the U.S. Bring up nearly as strong you know, as... It was not just a 60... Who took over in the 2008 crisis over there on the West Coast. A very different experience. What, do you, sure. what do you feel about it? You know, uh, I think it's a lot of political pandering, candidly. Uh, the fines are uh, not necessarily appropriate. There's a whole lot of... Uh, a lot of parts of the industry that cause the economic meltdown and candidly the consumers have not been held accountable for their lack of discipline. Wow. We'll leave it there. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Henry Walker from Farmers and Merchants Bank. Ken Cruz from Thank Sunstone. Back to you, Kelly. And Simon Hobbs for us on the floor. Thanks, Simon.